Welcome back, this is Ron VK2DQ. <clears throat> We're doing the practical tutorials for both Foundation, Standard and Advanced Amateur Radio Licenses. This is competency number 5, Identify Antennas. Let's have a look at the competency first. Number five is identify antennas. And the way the assessor can assess you on this is provide you with physical examples or diagrams of five antenna types. And your performance criteria is that you must identify at least four of the five antennas correctly. I've got on this slide potential images that the assessor could show you of antennas and what I'm going to do first is just go through and describe the antenna and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. All you need to do is answer the questions as I am answering now to the assessor when I describe these antennas. I'll talk a little bit more about that shortly. This antenna on the top left is a vertical antenna with a ground plane. The one in the middle, top, is a folded dipole. Top right is a Yagi antenna or a three element Yagi antenna. I wouldn't go any further than that. The bottom left is a center fed antenna. That's a ballon and this is the cable coming up, so that's a center-fed antenna. The one on the bottom right is an end-fed antenna. Here's the cable coming up out of the tree and it's end-feeding the antenna wire. This, this one's fed in the center, this one's fed at the end. That's what you need to answer for your assessment. I'll talk a little bit more about these antennas in a minute. Radio. Now I've given you the simple names for these antennas and I just want to talk a little bit more about them but in your assessment I want you to just give those simple names. Let's look at the first antenna. Sometimes people say this is a quarter wave ground plane. Well you really don't know that because there's no dimensions on the antenna. Um, so it may be a quarter wave, it may be a three quarter wave, you really don't know. So the correct answer for this is simply a vertical antenna with a ground plane. Without dimensions it's really impossible to tell whether it's a quarter wave. Same as the folded dipole, it's probably, it looks to me like a VHF dipole by the size of the pipe dimensions but there's no need to go into what band it operates on or anything like that. So just call it a folded dipole. This antenna is really a tri-band Yagi, it's a trap Yagi, see the traps in the antenna there? But there's no need to go into that, the, the assessor is just wanting you to say this is a three element Yagi antenna. Don't give the assessor any more than he needs to know. Look at this one, a lot of people would answer that this is a dipole antenna. Well you don't know that it's a dipole because you don't know its length. This could be a wavelength, that could be a wavelength, it could be a three-quarter wave on either side. So the only really correct answer for this is a center-fed antenna and that device there is a ballon. Bottom right hand side again, uh, you could say it was a half-wave and fed antenna but you don't know that because there are no dimensions on this antenna. So again, this is just an end fed antenna. So going through them again, this is how you should answer. A vertical antenna with ground plane, a folded dipole, a three element Yagi, a center fed antenna, an end fed antenna. And that's it for antenna identification and competency, competency number five. <coughs> 